Hi, I'm Dominic Robson Neal. I'm Zell Folks, and this is Inside the Ropes Boxing Show. I'm Dominic Robson Neal. We're having another special and exciting Inside the Ropes with my co host Marlon Clemens. We got my boy Ramon and we got JoJo. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to come out today. We're going to talk to them, talk about the state of amateur boxing and what's coming up. Now, I'm going to ask a couple of questions. Come Marlon, you want to say something first? Uh, no, uh, JoJo, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the people? So I'm, I'm Jamari Galena. <laughs> I'm Jamari Galeno, Jojo, Boss Man, Brown Sugar, Slate, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> How long you been fighting? About a year, some change, maybe coming up on two years now. Okay, okay. And I got 12, 13 amateur fights, and I went about nine of them. Nine of them lost, lost my first four straight. Okay. What changed for you? It's always, always mindset, and I feel like you got to lose. If you want to win, you got to lose. A lot of people... So like especially like for example my little brother Jaden, he he started off boxing winning. He he started off sharp. He got the talent. He got all that. If you start off, I feel like since he started off that way, he's gonna run into something that's gonna have to that's gonna gonna, gonna click, make him click. It's either man I hate that I lost or I'm gonna work harder. I started off I was losing. I was getting beat up every day, and that just made me want to be better. I want to be better so I don't get beat up. Not. I don't want to fight no more because I'm getting beat up, you know. Okay. okay. Yeah, JoJo used to. <laughs> hey, JoJo used to come in here and get whooped up on every 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 sparring session. He'd be bleeding, just bleed to have the ring bloody. Puddles of blood. He go run it, come back <laughs> bloody. I was like, man, who jumped on you? He can stop bleeding. He walk in here and start bleeding. But anyway, he actually put in the hard work, turned himself around. Did a lot of fight study, studied the game. That's what made him, I think that's what ma helps make him a, the boxer is. He won like nine, nine in a row, 10 in a row, ten some a row, shit like that. Right. So he, he doing pretty good. Uh, we get ready to prepare him to go to the Nationals in uh, November. It's December. gonna be in Richmond, Virginia, I mean, correction, December 14th through 21st mm -hmm. in Richmond, uh, Virginia. So we trying to get him straight for that. What's your inspiration? My inspiration, um, a lot of a lot of beautiful boxers, man. The, like just the art of boxing, big inspiration. The fighters, and also like the gym itself is a huge inspiration. The people in the gym, you know. Thank my coaches, the people helping me. You know, shout out to Dre, shout out to Stan, shout out to Ramon, because you know, it's it's people people that you surround yourself with. They that that's that's pretty much. My inspiration, everybody I surround myself with inspires me to be better every day and that I can, I can be better every day, you know? That's, okay. that's my inspiration. Now, here we go, we got Ramon. Manos <laughs> Ramon now, listen. Now Ramon probably, one of, probably got the fastest hands in the gym. He probably do, you know what I'm saying? So we trying to get him back. He uh he boxed amateur a couple years ago. So we actually trying to get him back in the gym. He probably, like I said, he can probably got the fastest hands in the gym right now. <laughs> he got the fast. So what's, what makes you like boxing? Talk, talk to the people. Um, uh, makes me like boxing. You know, I started boxing around like five years ago. And I started cause of, um, I mean, I was, before I started boxing, I was kind of getting, um, you know, bullied a bit, getting picked on, so I was kind of small. And I remember my dad brought me to this boxing gym, and it just started from there. And I just, I love the sport. Me and my brother used to box together. I mean, we spar every day. You know, I started getting bigger, and um, I mean, eventually people weren't picking on me. They were like, people were afraid of me. You know, it was the other way around. And I remember when I started, um, and I started competing. I lost like my first two fights, my first two fights straight. And um, I used to train out of another gym, and I lost those two first fights. And then I got scheduled for my third fight, and it was my first tournament for a belt. And I told myself, I was like, you know, I'ma either, I'ma just train my 
ass off for this, but I'm gonna just train as hard as I can every single day. And I did that. I got I got my first win. And I got my first uh, stoppage. I made the dude throw up. I got the second round. And after the the fight the next day, I didn't get the win, but now I, that was one of my probably I say one of my best fights ever. And ever since then, man, I just been working. And since I'm not competing right now, I'm just staying in shape uh, for when I do come back. And um, helping people like JoJo, giving tips and stuff like that, giving back. But that's that's really the reason I love boxing. That's what's up. Who's your favorite boxer of all time, JoJo? Favorite boxer of all time, Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray Leonard, y'all heard it here, Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard, okay, how about you, Ramon? Salvador Sanchez. So, yeah, you look like, remember I used to call you Salvador <laughs> yeah. Sanchez? I used to call, I said, dog, you look like Salvador Sanchez. Yeah. Did you know anything about Salvador Sanchez before I start calling you that? Oh yeah, he was still my favorite boxer. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. I said, man, it's, <laughs> he had his hair looking just like Salvador Sanchez. I said, man, you remind me of Salvador, but anyway, that's good. So, what's up? Give me one memorable, what's your most memorable moment? He just told you his most memorable moment in boxing. What's your mem most memorable moment? My most memorable moment so far was winning Golden Gloves. Winning ah, Golden okay. Gloves, that was <laughs> my favorite moment. It was, I had a new opponent, I'm fighting, I was fighting at a different weight. That was my first tournament ever. I'm fighting in, huge, in front of a huge crowd. I had my, my parents there, my brother there. Everybody was there, and it's for the state championship. Mind you, I've only won probably one fight before this. So it's, this is going on. I mean, they're like, I can keep this winning streak up. I can work hard, keep this winning streak up. I can work hard. I don't pull it off. I'm ready for any outcome, but I told myself I was going to pull I was gonna pull it off. Especially since I was, we were there for three days, I was going to pull it off. And I remember I got tired. I got a little tired during the fight, but I still pushed through. I had to show that dog. And when, I, when they said that split decision in my favor, <laughs> the, the, the feelings that, that I got just made me want to be like, okay, I'm gonna train hard so I can win more. I'm gonna train harder so I can I can get better opponents. So I can win win against those better opponents. I'm gonna try to get the best work I can against people better than me so I can get better every time. And oh, finish up. So yeah, it's just basically that the feelings that it just made me want to get better. And December 14th, December 14th, I'm on AS. I'm going to get ranked December 14th. That's right. Week. That's right. Week of the Nationals. Where they're supposed to be everybody there's supposed to be the best. Well, we're gonna see. That's why you wanna you wanna say you're the best, we're gonna go out there and, and we're gonna compete. We're gonna show them what time it is. So that should be a good good week. Now, any more questions, Coach Marlin? No, um, Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about the robberies, robberies that's been happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had another boxer. We went to North Carolina. Uh, doggone Darius Rayner. Went down there and fought in Wilmington and got robbed because I had two coaches that, that, which, that I said I really respect. I said, hey, your kid got robbed because we were at the pro show, so I wasn't able to go to the amateur show. Right. So... He went down there and they told me the man got robbed. You know, like I say, you know, sometimes amateur boxing, you got amateur judges. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it, it ain't right, but it, it is what it is. Yeah. So I just tell, I like I tell the kids, go out there and just get the ring experience. Cause when you, once you get to a certain level, they, you're gonna fix it where they can't rob you no more. That used to happen to my son. He would get robbed. I said, well, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna do, we're gonna fight the way they want us to fight with our, our flair on it and win the fights. So it won't be no, no question about who won the fight. You know what I'm saying? Right. Coming into the boxing game, you used to hear a lot. I used to hear a lot about the amateur judging and the amateur system and how amateurs can't wait to go pro. But until you actually live it and see it with your own eyes, you're not really going to understand. Understand when you I'm say, like, man. This amateur game is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. You almost can't win about, care about the wins or the losses. Like Coach said, get in there, get your work. Um, get in there, get that experience. Yeah. Get that ring time so you have it. They can't take them rounds from you. So the more rounds you put in the bank, that's the more experience you're going to get. And... You can't get in your feelings about the winning or the losing, you know right. what I'm saying? Because some of them are gonna be close, some of them you're gonna lose. As long as you're amateur, you're gonna lose some fights. Right. But the ones where you clearly won and just you because sitting there, you're from out of town. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> just cause you're right. I don't I don't even listen, man, if my guys go somewhere and win and they didn't really deserve it, I don't even 
I ain't gonna no even true. talk about that win because if I think the guy beat you, you know, I think uh, Coach Muhammad out of um, out of Charlotte, the, his his son fought Jalen one time, and we was at North Carolina, and this man after the fight he went over there and told his son give Jalen a medal, right? You know what I'm saying? Because his son didn't perform the way he wanted him to perform. It was a good boxing match, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I was like, man, that's that's, that's so. Coach Timothy Muhammad, I have, I want to talk about, when I said about Muhammad, I want to talk about Timothy Muhammad. I was talking about Muhammad out of, Muhammad used to come here and box. But Timothy Muhammad, he, hey, I got a lot of respect for him. You know what I'm saying? But some fights, man, it's just going to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if, you, if you're an amateur judge, just, you know what I mean, try to do better. Try to do, try better. To do better, man. You should have you should be morally correct when you're judging these fights. Absolutely. The fighter getting beat, he get beat. Right. But it, he can only come back and learn. You know what I'm saying? You know, and you know, I had to learn how to pipe it down because a lot of time when they get robbed, I used to go off. But I was just right. like, now nah, I was like, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Long as I know, long as I can see the fighter developing, because when it really count and really when it really matters, he gonna shine when it's mm -hmm. time. You know what I'm saying? One thing I like to say though, to, to add on both these stuff, every loss is not a loss, it's a lesson. That's what I always go by. And every time I go fight out of town, in town, you gotta be open to everything. You gotta, you get, don't think of it like, oh, I lost, nah, I learned. You gotta think of it, yeah, I learned. Mm -hmm. What I gotta do, what I gotta do, work harder on, you know? You gassed up, gotta run more. Now that's sharp, work on technique more. That's what I always think. So remember, every loss is not a loss, it's a lesson in amateurs. Now you lose your girl, that's a lost loss. <laughs> 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 now I'm just saying, hey, this has been another exciting episode of Inside the Ropes. Join us again next week. Like I said, I got my boy Raymond, and I got my boy Jojo and Coach Marlin. We'll see you next week.